but just keep in mind that it's very likely if you do if you put a VP shunt in, patients will feel great for three months. They'll say, "Oh, I feel wonderful," and they'll come back at three months or four months and they say, "I got headaches again," and I don't feel well. If you do a spinal tap on them, the pressure was going to be higher than the valve. Whatever the valve is set to, which should be potentially what the pressure is in the head, the pressure will be higher than the valve setting. And what's happened is the resistance in that system is no longer controlled by the valve. So you can turn the valve all the way down to nothing, and it's not going to make their pressure any lower. The valve, the, the resistance in that system is at the interface of the catheter and the ventricle. And so you turn that thing all the way down. It's not going to change. They're still going to have headaches. The pressure is still too high. The pressure is probably in the low 20s. Uh, there's not a way around that unless you want to try to revise it. And, and that's not going to particularly work very well.